Hey, what's happening, guys? You know what? I thought today we would talk a little bit in depth about the LED. Because for the guys that are just getting started out in electronics, and especially the Arduino Raspberry Pi stuff, Das Blinken Lights is the first things you're going to want to play with. So let's talk about it. Now, first of all, what is an LED? It's a light emitting diode. It is a PN junction that is doped in such a way that electrical current is converted directly into light output. And it's very efficient, and we're going to talk about why. So let's start up here with light output. This is nanometers. This is the wavelength of the light. And if we talk about an incandescent bulb, then we're going to see a curve something like that. The incandescent bulb is going to output light in all these ranges. But if we talk about some LEDs, then we're going to see curves like this. Like, for instance, this would be a green LED, and this one might be a red LED. And you can see they have a very narrow bandwidth of the light output and what color you're seeing. That's why the incandescent bulb looks whitish, yellowish. And LEDs look to be a single color. And for the most part, they are. Now, one of the things that we need to take into account for LEDs is the forward voltage. So that's what we're going to talk about here on this graph. When an LED begins to conduct, the voltage increases gradually. So we start applying a voltage to our LED. And we go through one volt, two volts, and all of a sudden it goes like that. Right there around that conduction point, you see this gentle curve just sweeps right up. The current increases rapidly while the voltage increases gradually. And too much current will overheat and burn out the LED. Nothing you don't already know. Now, the next thing that we need to talk about, again, is light output. And in this case, the light emitted by an LED is directly proportional to the current through the LED. So then we get a curve something like this. This is our level of light output. This is the milliamps putting through it. But when you cross this plane eh, somewhere, somewhere in this area, in the 40 to 70 milliamp range, you're going to start to overheat the LEDs, and they're not going to be happy. So right around in, I'm going to say the 15 to 30 milliamp range is where you want. That's, that's the sweet spot. That's where you want to drive the LEDs. Keep them at the lower range in the 15 milliamp area, and you'll have extremely long life out of your LEDs. Let them boop, boop up a little bit higher into the 30 milliamp range, and then this is what we're talking about, that proportional light output there. They're going to get brighter. But that's the only range you really need to play with. That From about, about a 15 milliamp range, you start getting up in here, they get hot, hotter, and they're going to burn out quicker. I mean, they're cheap, so maybe you don't care. But on the other hand... Sometimes they're hard to replace. They might be in places that, you know, are difficult to get to. And the final thing that I want to talk about is wavelength versus voltage. So I've written down some common wavelengths here. Green, yellow, orange, a couple different reds, and some IR wavelengths. So what are the voltages at which they are going to begin to conduct? Well, the green is going to start around 2.2 volts, up up to 3. The yellow, about the same, 2.2 to 3 volts. The orange is going to be a little bit lower. It's going to come in around 
1.8 to let's say two and a half volts now the reds are where we start getting into some nice the 640 nanometer red is going to start to conduct at about 1.6 volts to 2 volts so you see it doesn't take as much forward voltage to drive that red as it does to drive the green now when we get up into the 690 nanometer red we're back up to about that 2.2 to 3 volt range see there's there's a there's a shift between the 640 nanometer and the 690 nanometer in the amount of voltage it's going to take to get them to conduct. And then when we get in the IR, things get a little bit different. 880, uh, which is a low IR, is going to conduct about 2 volts to 2.5. But once you get up in the 90, now we're down to 1.2 volts. So that's pretty low. And then the 940 is about the same. We'll call it 1.2 to 1.3. So you see, you can get some, if you're messing around the IR, if you go up to the higher range, you can get some nice low conduction out of them. Maybe that's good information. Maybe you already knew it. I'm sure there's somebody out there that probably didn't know it. And, you know, that's kind of who this video is for. So just a quickie, you know, a little bit of information on LEDs how things relate to each other. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all of my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.